Welcome, welcome to Vlogtober, everybody. I thought we'd start out with a fun, spooky craft. We're going to make some of my iconic eyeball or skull flowers. We're going to start with these sunflowers. I picked these particular ones up at the Dollar Tree, but you could pick them up at Joanne Fabrics or Michaels or wherever you buy your crafting or fake floral. And I start by taking them apart, as you can see here. Save the center for later. And uh, just pull the layers apart. And I use a lighter. And I like to seal the edges of the flowers and kind of remove the little unraveling threads that sometimes are on the petals. They kind of make things look cheap and fake and worn out, unless that's what you're kind of going for which with a spookier kind of flower, it might be exactly what you're going for. But I uh, tend to like them to look very finished. And it also prevents them fraying more in the future and looking more worn out sooner. So I do that to each layer that I'm going to put into the flower. And depending on how like full you want the flower to look or how skinny you want the flower to be, you can choose how many layers and also different colors. Because if I wanted to, I could layer up those yellow and those orange layers and alternate them or however I'd like to. So you can lay out different colors together. And so in this, I'm gonna use four layers. So two flowers to make one flower. And I've sealed the edges on all of those flowers. And then I start using my hot glue gun to put them together. I start with the layer closest to the little center piece. Put some glue on the back of that. Stick the flower first layer down. And I do choose carefully which layer that is. I tend to kind of choose the prettiest layer of the flower or the smallest if I want to go kind of large to small. And then just repeat. Keep putting a little bit of hot glue Keep sticking another layer until you get them all on there. You can see here the difference between a flower with two layers and a flower with four. The four definitely is fuller and prettier to me. So, especially with these kind of cheaper flowers from the Dollar Tree, they don't usually have as many layers in them. So now I've got my completed flower and I'm gonna be ready to um, add the skull or eyeball center to it. So I get these little skulls or eyeballs from, I think Michael's is where I found these. You can get them at Dollar Tree or Joann's, anywhere where there's kind of like party favors usually in that kind of a section. And I'm using an X-Acto knife to kind of start a little bit of a hole, a little slit in the plastic. And I'm trying to be careful and keep my fingers away from that blade, but razor blades scare me. As you can see, I'm very cautious about how I <laughs> handle this. So I just kind of get it started with the box cutter. And then I use a shears, a really strong pair of shears that I have to cut it. Because I feel like I have more control over that. And I'm less likely to hurt myself with my shears. A great thing for me to invest in for this portion would be like a hot knife to cut through the plastic. Because that would really cut them in half with a lot less risk to my safety and my fingers. So now that we've got the back of the skull off a bit, so it lays flat on the flower, kind of hold where you can and put glue right on that kind of skinny lip. And the glue will kind of melt the plastic a little bit or soften it, which will be great for helping it adhere to the flower. So you get as much as you can on there. I will admit, the skulls are easier to do this step with than the eyeballs, because the eyeballs are just like a round ball and they're hard to hold on to. And then you just press it into the center there. 
Make sure it's really on there. Don't press too hard so you don't break it, but firmly enough that it sticks to the flower, nice and strong. And then you've got kind of a stump on the back from the middle of the flower. Cut that little stump off, and leave just a little edge of it, and then I usually squirt some hot glue straight down into that little stump and use the hot end of the glue gun to kind of flatten it out against the back of the flower because we're going to cover it up with the clasp. You could use felt circles that are already pre-cut or another shaped felt um, kind of sticker. I've used hearts on some flowers in the past. And then you just cut a couple little slits in it while it's doubled over. And then you can slide your double pronged alligator clip through it just like that hold securely onto the flower once you glue it down. Now these clips I use, they're like a pin curl clip. You can get them in beauty supplies. They're very inexpensive. I like a double prong. For smaller flowers, you can use a single prong. And I just use a little bit of glue to kind of glue the felt itself to the prongs, to the clip. And then I put glue on the back of the felt and stick it down to the flower as you'll see in the next step and i apologize for this being so out of frame i didn't realize i was out of frame when i was shooting this footage apologies but i was just putting glue onto the felt and then sticking that right to the back of the flower just like that don't burn your fingers but pack that down it should be all set. And then comes the super fun part where you get to embellish it however you'd like. You could stop here and just wear it as is, or you can go in and embellish it. And if you need more details on how to rhinestone items like this or anything else, you can check out in my previous tutorials on rhinestoning. I think there's a four part series about everything you would need to know about rhinestoning. And that's right here on my channel. So go check that out if you need a rhinestoning lesson. And here's our finished skull. I used citrine or yellow rhinestones on it. And I put some red rhinestones in the eyeballs. Here's what it looks like out in the daylight. And then some examples of other ways you could use these techniques. Here's the eyeball sunflower, as well as an eyeball dahlia. You can do all sorts of fun things with this, so let your creativity run wild. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, stay tuned all month long for lots of fun goodies here.